Hi guys, so here's a quick video. I got sick yesterday. I'm in my fourth week out of six for Ivy Rosefin. I want to do a quick video. I got sick yesterday and I have not yet told the doctor, but I feel like poo poo and my body's aching. And I took my temperature yesterday and I was down a degree. And I looked it up and that's not good. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I haven't told the doctor yet. I'm going to tell him tomorrow. I'm not sure why I made this video. But, for today, I'll tell him rather. I feel a little better because I'm not, like, sleeping. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Hi, so this is the second part of the sick video. I am infusing with my ball and chain, so don't mind that. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm starting to really wonder about mold toxicity. I was sick, as you saw two seconds ago, for whatever reason. But I, did, I do have a room here with mold in it. And I did enter that room the other day, and I'm starting to wonder if this isn't the first time I've had ex mold exposure and been sick. I used to live in an apartment with mold. It's pretty gross, but I didn't realize it was affecting me because I didn't have an allergic reaction. I just got headaches, fevers, uh, the works. Also, I was doing fur ship, so that usually makes me feel like shit anyway. Um... That didn't last long until <laughs> I fell apart. Uh, yeah, so I'm really, I've done some research since I got sick. And, well, since I've been in Michigan, I've been doing research because there's nothing else to do because I don't know anybody here. And I'm going to investigate further the mold toxicity theory that a lot of people have mentioned in chronic fatigue. So I googled a bunch of doctors. Actually, I googled something called Real Time Labs, and they do myotoxin, mycotoxins, something like that, which are the mold toxins. And they do the testing, and they'll if you email them, they will send you back a list of doctors that use that test in your state. Awesome. So I did that. I found a bunch of doctors in New Jersey, called them up, made an appointment, filled out like eight pages of symptoms, and then I have an appointment set up for January 27, 2014 to see a doctor in my area. And she also works with herbs, which is pretty cool because this shit is getting like really pricey. Like, this is getting really pricey. The antivirals. Luckily, I have health insurance, but what if I don't want to do that? You know, what if I want to be a hippie and quit my job and just, like, write all day? Then what are my options for feeling better? Or what if I'm out of the country and I can't re-up my... This is just a rant video at this point. <laughs> no, but I don't, I don't want to be tied to, like, pharmaceuticals and doctors and having to stay in the country if I want to travel. So supplements would be a lot easier in other countries because you can stock up you don't have to wait for a script and with the antivirals if you guys need to take the antivirals and you can't afford it I've been reading up on this a lot of people don't take them because they can't afford them you can fight with your insurance company you can fight I called them every day until I was able to get them a lot cheaper a lot cheaper and the only way I can get them now that cheap though is to go refill every single week so things like that I can't do if I want to you know travel around I I would have to come back to the country every single week which is crazy so um this mini rando rant is about mold toxicity sort of it was started off that way um just be aware that there is a theory out there about mold toxicity and uh it does seem pretty logical to me that that could be a cause because it's everywhere and if if it's not that that's causing fatigue or causing copper deficiency or causing any of the other 
plethora of deficiencies that I have, it still might not be helping the situation. So I'll take an extra 10% of feeling better if they need to clear me out of mold or whatever. I'll take it, you know? And I think that you guys should start really considering other theories out there because every 10% that you get back for your life is a huge leap in terms of life quality. So it might not be a huge leap to, you know, your average mojo who's like, this is too much money to spend on a doctor to test me out for this random thing that I might or might not have. But for us, that 10% is a life changer. So I really do suggest checking that out. But of course, I'll keep you guys updated. It might have no effect on me. Who knows? But I want the test and I'm going to get it done.